Hey, what's up everyone? This is Chad Henry here at Holiday Motors in Portsmouth, Virginia. And we have been robbed. Uh, very real, not a prank, not a joke. Um, after 46 years of business, we have been extremely fortunate. And yesterday was, uh, was a pretty tough day. Um, but we're pretty tough, we're pretty strong, we've got insurance, and uh, we're gonna get through this. Uh, so early yesterday morning at 1247, I get the phone call from our uh, security company stating that there was a break-in, police were on the scene, there was glass broken to our building, um, and they wanted to know how fast that I could get here. Well, I'm sure if you know me uh, that it was pretty damn quick. So also very fortunate to uh, have friends on the Portsmouth Police Department and before I could get my clothes on and out the door, uh, Officer Brandon Scales was at my front door making sure that uh, I was up and about and on my way because they were having a hard time uh, reaching me. Uh, so anyhow, uh, thank you Brandon, we certainly appreciate it. Uh, so we took off, he escorted me here, and on the way here I couldn't help but think how lucky that I was that my wife and daughter were at home in bed, safe and sound. This wasn't a phone call that there was any kind of an emergency for you know, a family member or one of our friends you know, having a problem. Um, you know, and, and I realized that I have insurance and so you know, when I got here, I was upset, but I was calm with that. I knew that, uh, that things were gonna be okay. Um, so I arrived on the scene and upon looking around the dealership uh, I noticed that two vehicles were gone right off the bat. I was also concerned with um, with the shop with that uh, making sure that they didn't get in there and uh, that those vehicles were safe and they were. So uh, we walked around the building and over here on this side uh, they entered in through one of the office windows, uh, ran through the building like they had never been in there before. They did not know where they were going. They did not know where our keys were. Uh, and then they happened to find uh, some of the spare keys uh, to the vehicles that were out here. And there's nobody to blame for that but myself. Um, you know, those should have been secured much better. So uh, if anything, you know, I've learned to be more cautious. Uh, we're also going to be making some changes around the lot uh, by means of putting up some barriers around, um, you know, to, to help prevent them being able to just so easily remove my vehicles. So it's uh, it's really unfortunate, you know, that we come in here and we work really hard trying to create a good business and a good experience for our customers with some great vehicles um, and that we get such a setback like this. Um, but again, we have insurance. So we're gonna move on. We're gonna be strong and you know, continue to work hard as we've always done and provide these vehicles and this experience for our customers. And uh, you know, we certainly appreciate uh, everyone's support that we've had for the 46 years that we've been here. So with that being said, um, you know, I've had a lot of calls and a lot of texts. The word has spread very rapidly. Uh, so to answer those questions um, and to just continue to move forward with what I do every day, uh, that's why I've decided to make this video. Also, uh, the two vehicles that were stolen, uh, I'm going to post pictures of those as well so you can be at, on the lookout for them. Uh, it was a 2016 lifted Ram, dark blue that we just listed uh, here recently, uh, one that we've just posted as well, you may have seen, um, that I had been driving actually. That one and also a 2007 Burgundy Yukon XL. Um, you know, so we don't expect to see them again and, and if we do, you know, just hope that they're in one piece. But uh, I wanna say a big thank you to you know, my wife for supporting me through this and, and, and having my back uh, and all of our friends and family and especially my team as well because they came in here yesterday morning after I had been up all night 
uh, going through videos, uh, surveillance and stuff, getting it ready for the detective to come in in the morning. And uh, they got right straight to, to cleaning up uh, and, and getting right back to work as usual. And, and that's our goal, is to just get back to work as usual. Um, I just learned about an hour or so ago that there was another dealership down the street that was uh, hit last night and they took five of their vehicles. So, uh, you know, my condolences go out to them uh, as well. Um, you know, I just really appreciate everyone's support. And, um, you know, I, I, I pray that these kids find God one day and one day soon. Um, you know, and, and that uh, we just continue to grow from here. Um, you know, so again, I thank everyone for watching and, uh, you know, just be on the lookout and lock your stuff up. Be safe, be vigilant, and, uh, you know, just keep moving forward. This isn't going to hold us back. We're going to keep going strong and uh, probably be motivated to go a little bit stronger. So. Anyhow, thanks for watching. Have a great day.